First and foremost, the No Fate channel. Checking in, and I am once again coming to you with the home gym equipment review. This time I have the Synergy Fitness Rhino Bar. Supposed to be our do it all bar for your home gym. Is it really? We're gonna get into the company, we're gonna talk about the bar statistics, and then most importantly, we're gonna dive in to my personal thoughts on this bar after using it for three, three weeks. But first and foremost, why did I pick up this barbell? All of my longtime subscribers know I drop new videos every Thursday at 1 p.m., but the last thing I need is another barbell. Frankly, my wife has been on the lookout to make sure I don't buy any. In fact, I snuck this one down here when she wasn't around, disposed of the box, and just pretended like this was a bar I had the whole time. But as I've promised you in the past, all my subscribers who use my affiliate links, which are in the description of this video, all of those proceeds go right back into the channel. In previous videos, which I'll link in the description, I've reviewed a number of Synergy products, and frankly, they've done a really good job of hitting that sweet spot of matching price to performance, giving you the most value for the least cost. And that's why I really wanted to get this Rhino Bar, because it's supposed to be for all of you big three lifters. That's right, the squat, the bench, the deadlift. It's supposed to be a do-it-all, a Swiss army knife of barbells for those of you hitting the big three in your home gym, getting all those gains, getting all those new PRs. So what's so special about this Rhino Bar? Coming in at 45 pounds with a 29 millimeter diameter shaft and 16.4 inch sleeves. This has a Cerakot finish and this nice little Synergy logo on the front. In terms of knurling, it has that volcano knurling that just digs into your hands to make sure that your grip is locked, cocked, and ready for PRs. Coming in at 280 Dollars, dollars, dollars. That is the retail price on Amazon and the Synergy Fitness website. I'll link both of those in the description below. Keep in mind, this thing goes on sale between the two almost like every other week. This bar has a maximum load capacity of 1,500 pounds with 190,000 PSI tensile strength. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, the most important part of the video, where I give you my final thoughts after using this Synergy Fitness Rhino powerlifting bar for more than three weeks. First and foremost, thoughts, it's a stiff bar. The 190,000 tensile strength, the 29 millimeter diameter, um, make it fairly stiff. Now, the most weight I got on here, on here was four plates for one fairly ugly shrug. But for those of you that are deadlifting, for those of you that are super strong, or for the rest of you that just like to sumo deadlift, this one is gonna be right for you with regards to the stiffness. The sleeves had a very nice even spin with those bushings, um, and it was perfect for those of you that are going to squat, bench, and deadlift, and not necessarily do um, snatches or cleans. As far as my grip, that volcano knurling was really nice. It helped lock in my grip without being so aggressive that I kind of felt like I was gonna get blisters or cut up my soft feminine hands. This is a fantastic bar for those of you planning to bench, squat, and deadlift. But what's the catch? And the reality is twofold. Number one, at $280, you are really mixed in with a lot of competition. If, if you just add $40 to that, between 280 and 320, there are a ton of powerlifting barbells that are absolutely fantastic. Also, for those of you that do plan to do Olympic lifts or you do plan to do front squats, the, the knurling on the front here is going to chew up the front of your thick, massively built chest like mine. Also, finally, I happen to really like Synergy Fitness and I really fell in love with their Synergy Fitness Cerakot red barbell with the black sleeves. It was amazing and it was really meant for an all-purpose bar, not for powerlifting. I actually found that the grip on there, even though it was more passive, definitely was more for me because I'm not 
the power lifter that this massively overbuilt body would have you believe. Overall, if you can find this bad boy on sale and they throw a sale at a drop of a hat, I mean any hat, then it might be something you should consider if you are into squat, bench, and deadlift. If you are into more of the bodybuilding lifestyle, like yours truly, then you might want to check out their other Synergy bars that are out there. I'll link them in the description. I'll put a photo of one up here. But again, at $280 without any sales, you are in a lot of good company with regards to powerlifting bars that are out there, especially if you're willing to up the ante just a few more bucks. I want to know from you, comment down below, what is your favorite powerlifting bar and which powerlifting bar should I get my hands on to review for you next? Now, if you made it this far in the video, you and I are like Goose and Maverick, Tango and Cash, Chip and Dale. Best friends, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you haven't already, hey, hit that subscribe button. I drop new home gym equipment reviews for you every Thursday at 1 p.m. As usual, thank you for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.